Hi, my name is Katherine Liberoni and I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. Today I'm going to be taking you step by step through the process of completing your painting. So I will do a step, then you'll do the same step, and then I'll give you the inside scoop as to how to check each of your steps to make sure you're doing them correctly. Today we're going to be doing this lovely floral to my left called A Moment in Summer. Now if you've ever noticed when you take a photograph of something, how uh, whether it's a flower or a person, how the background's a blurred image, well that's what you see t in my painting today. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. We're going to create highlights and shadows and the illusions of things in the background and create that blurred image. We're also going to have fun with the leaves, the highlights and the shadows for the leaves, the buds, and also the beautiful hibiscus plant or flower, and also the stems. Now remember when you're trying to complete a painting in one afternoon, what happens is because there are many steps involved, it's best not to spend too much time thinking about how things look. Why? Because the next step will totally change what you've just done. Then at the end, when we've completed all of the steps, that's when you can spend more time focusing on how to improve something that you're looking at, that you would like to add to, or change, or remove. You can even remove miracle Grow if you've given more miracle Grow to your leaves. I'll show you how to do that as well. Are you ready to have lots and lots of fun? Let's do it. Now today we're going to be working with a 16 by 20 stretch canvas. Now I'm going to show you next how to place the pattern on there that came with the DVD. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how I placed my paints on my palette in the order in which we're going to be flat. Next I'll show you how to load your brush and apply some fun colors to the background. Now you're going to come up to your palette and just brush from the bottom of the pile of paint. I go up about a half an inch to an inch. Turn the brush over about five times, working into the top of the bristle, nice and smooth towards you. Then we're going to be adding the cadmium yellow to titanium white. This is going to lighten it up, and I just turn the brush over about five times till it's again nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm starting the process of adding. The next color that you're going to watch me mix up is the ultramarine blue and a little bit of blue. Now we're going to go up to the top right and I'm just using the figure eight stroke, moving my arm up and down so that I always have an uneven shape where I stopped. Do it as quickly as you can. Now next what I'm going to be showing you is how to mix up some colors to create a dark shade of green. I'm going to start on the edge and I just move up and down. Constantly move away from the area so you're not losing it. Okay, now switch back to having fun with your one inch brush. And remember to hold in your opposite hand a paper towel. And all you want to do is focus on the outside edges first. Uh, we do very little uh, blending. Uh, we're going to be doing very little blending in the middle so that we don't lose too many of these shapes. These could be petals. Okay, now here's a close-up to watch me very closely how I do those little circle strokes. Okay, now the next step is to create the happy leaves. And a lot of the leaves are uh, in the background, underneath or behind the stems, and some are uh, over top right there. Now if you take a look at what you've accomplished so far, as long as your leaves are different in size or shape, None of the points are directed towards the corners of the canvas, so that's good. You're doing just fine. As long as you can see some of the stems that you placed in, you're also doing great. The next step, I'm going to show you very close how I create the outside shape of the leaves. There we go. Now the next step, we're going to have fun creating highlights for our leaves. There. Now I'm going to stop there and I'm going to show you next how to add reds to your brush so that we can add some of the reflective color down here in the bottom. Now the next step what we're going to do is we're going to have fun with the branches. So you've completed the background and with the leaves, the foliage, uh, all the highlights and the shadows. Now we're going to have fun with the stems. So I'll show you next how to load your brush with black. That's going to live. But I'm going to place one in here and maybe it stops there. I'm going to reload periodically and make it a little bit bigger. So this is the bottom of one of the buds and I'm going over top of 
the stems that's pushing it back in the background. Okay, next what I'm going to show you is how to load your brush with titanium white. This is a used brush, a half inch, and that's going to make a light shade of the value that you used or the shade that you just used, which is black. And I'm loading my brush about oh, eight times just to make it nice and smooth. Then I'm going to come up to the canvas, and all I'm doing is placing in a very light touch. This is what I call grazing over top of the canvas. I'm using the side of the brush to place in some highlights. And this is adding the bark to the branch. The next step I'll be showing you how to create the limbs or the little twigs that are attached to the branch. Now you're using the tip of your brush to place in the limbs. And what I do is I wiggle with the tip of my brush. Because remember, nothing is straight in nature. Thank goodness for that. And then maybe add several twigs on that limb. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to fill in the flower and the buds. Now this is where you're going to decide on how much miracle Grow you're going to give your buds. I'm just pressing or touching and pulling an oval shape, but notice how it's and crimson. Now when you're filling in the large flower, what you're going to do is you're going to keep some of these uh, sketch marks showing till the very last minute. That's so that you don't get confused as to where it's separated. And all I'm doing is just pressing with the flat part of the brush along the edge and I'm going up and down or back and forth. Okay, now we're going to establish the shadow and I did uh, squeeze out my paint once in a paper towel. I'm going to load with a little bit of the uh, Lizard Crimson. This time a little bit of paint and I'm going to touch a little bit of the Ultramarine Blue and go back into the red. Now I want a very dark red color is what I'm looking for. There we go. Next I'll show you how to place it in the buds and also the throat and the separation between the petals of the flower. Um, what you're doing with this step is you're adding highlight or a brightness to your petals. When you're doing the buds, you're going to use the same two colors, cadmium red medium, cadmium red light, and you start on the outside edge first. So I'm just stroking very shortly towards the Okay, now I went back to the crimson, the listening crimson, and the ultramarine blue. And all I'm doing is drawing in lines, uneven lengths, and also widths. And that gives the illusion of separations, just like you did with the top part. Okay, now I'm using the liner brush, and I've thinned down some listening crimson with the medium. Now I'm just <laughs> touching and wiggling to place in the large stem of the stamen. There we go. Next one I'm going to show you is how to finish your painting with the calyx. Recorder. Now I'm going to touch the canvas and just place in a couple of stems. Remember how we did this before with the tip of the brush where the calyx are going. Now this is the time when you're going to look at your flower and see if you want to add any more light. Now I'm just taking my half inch floral brush and loading in just cadmium red light and a little bit of cadmium red medium but more of the light and I'm just adding a couple highlights over top of what I Now we finally finished all of the steps that are involved in completing this painting. Now this is the time that you're going to spend looking at things, how things look, how you would like to improve them, whether adding more highlights to your petals or your leaves. Uh, just have as much fun as you want to. I hope you had a great time today and that you learned a great deal and I look forward to the next time when we're together.